Hey guys, Tampa Tech. Now I'm going to show you how to solder a surface mount IC on a circuit board. So on this IC, right, we're going to test this IC right here. So I'm going to put my red probe right here on the big solder pad. And then I'm going to run it down. So the top left, so I'm going to run it down on each leg. So I'm reading uh, 0 0.00, which is a short signal. 0 .00, 0 .00, 0 .00, 0 0. Now all those legs obviously should not be have continuity. It should breed about 0 .5. So here's the bad part right here. You can see that there's a burn mark on it. So that's how I know it's bad. So over here, these ICs I know are good. So I'm going to put my red lead again on the big soldering pad right here, which is the one in the middle, and then read the top, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Alright, so that's how I know this one's good and the other one's bad. So we're going to unsolder this IC and solder a new one. So what we want to do is take your 40 watt soldering iron, make sure you have a flat tip like this one, and you clean it with a wet sponge. And right here I have my solder. I'm going to tin it. When you tin it, you should get a, just a little bit of solder at the tip, just like that. And it should lift right up, just like that. And don't overheat the pads because they'll burn right off the circuit board. And heat up the other side, just like that. My desoldering wire. And sometimes it doesn't have enough flux in the wire. So it's always good to have some extra flux, just in case there's not enough flux inside the braid. And that really helps you um, soak out the solder. So I'm gonna take my braid right here and dip it in the flux. And right here. Take rubbing alcohol and a toothbrush. Clean it up a little bit. Now using pliers, you want to line up the dot on the front of the IC to the dot on the circuit board. like that and just make sure your soldering iron is tinned before you do this and press down and just heat it up a little bit and it should stay and then on the other side just grab it looks like I'm gonna have to shift it over a little bit just like that bam make sure you tin it On both sides. All right, and then just press down for two seconds using a flat soldering iron tip. One, two, just like that. One, two. Looks pretty good to me. Double check your work. Clean it up a little bit. Then you're done. Test it out in your in your TV. This is an inverter board. Click on the link below the uh, click on the link below the video if you want to see this TV board working inside of a TV. And thanks for watching, guys. If this video was informative, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It helps me out. And share this video to anyone that may be interested in fixing electronics. And subscribe to Tampa Tech for more common tech fixes and tech reviews.